Welcome to an introduction to the student support card provided through the Kaleidoscope Connect program area of Brightways Learning. Through Kaleidoscope snapshots, the student support card illustrates what we call a youth developmental ecology. The student support card assessment measures the quantity and qualities of support that young people get from their school, family, youth programs, and faith communities. It measures the protective factors and learning supports that assure each student makes positive, healthy decisions. The student support card is completed online by students, and it becomes a tool for caring adults to get deep and broad insights into the perceptions of experiences from a youth. Using full color dialogue with the student support card data enables, student, enables adults to understand their students in the context of the complex supports that youth need to thrive. Data from the student support card derives from a cluster of surveys that measure the developmental ecology of a youth. The Institute for Community and Adolescent Resilience developed the assessment to measure the web of support that all kids need using research from the best youth development and resiliency work in the world. Vygotsky, Werner, Bernard, Garmezzi, Rudder, Benson, and Hawkins and Catalano are some of the giant shoulders upon whom we stand. The student support card benchmarks a student's web of support where we can correlate their score to the likelihood of them thriving, as well as their likelihood to avoid risky behaviors. This correlation is wonderfully instructive. Rather than focusing on labeling a student, the assessment gives each student an insight into knowing who they are and how to amplify what is right and strong within themselves. This motivates them to the co-creation of their web of support. The student support card does not measure what is wrong or what is missing in a student's life. Instead, the strengths-based tool identifies the supports that already exist, such as connection to anchors and the depths of those connections thereby allowing everyone involved to build on that foundation. It is a conversation starter, which leads both the student and adults into awareness of the youth's developmental ecology and how they relate to it. The student support card shows that the thicker the web of support a young person has, then the more likely they are to succeed in school and to make wise choices in regards to their mental, emotional, and physical health. It reveals that the more anchors a youth has, then the more strings they have in their web of support. It also exposes how likely the youth will remain alcohol and drug free and to practice refusal skills when faced with dangerous situations. The student support card is also a better predictor of a student's capacity to thrive than gender, family income, race, ethnicity, and family composition. For example, the, the more strings that a female or male have, then the more likely they have to hi have higher GPAs, regardless of gender. And strings are also a better predictor of a student economic success than even income level because poor people love their kids too. And regardless of race or ethnicity, students with high levels of strings are about four to six times as likely as those with few strings to be successful in school. Furthermore, tightly webbed youth and single parent families are 13 times more likely to succeed in school than those who are loosely webbed, even if they have both parents in their household. So why is measurement important? The student support card describes the protective factors and learning supports that a youth has and how the people around them affect their web of support. For too long, the focus has been put on organizations and professionals to fix the problems experienced by many youths. In the years ahead though, schools will be obligated to fulfill their mandate by the federal Every Student Succeeds Act to increase the social emotional competence of our kids. The only way these efforts will be of value is if the community at large does our part to ensure that young people are ready for school and supported to make the right choices. The research is quite clear and has finally confirmed what we've known all along, that we don't have a youth problem, we have an adult problem. And as the student support card shows, youth aren't broken, they just each need a web of support to thrive. 
For more information, to learn more and get started and do more, please contact us at connect at brightwayslearning.org or visit our website, brightwayslearning.org. Thanks for your attention today. Have a great day.